Hey folks, it's Mikhail, the beer ambassador. I'm here talking about the uh, world of craft beer every week on Tuesday. Today, um, I'm at Bottle Logic Brewing Company and uh, talking about the week of logic. It's actually day three of week of logic, and I've been here for uh, every day so far. I've never made it to the whole week, so I'm trying to do that this week. Um, it's an interesting animal in itself. It's a really cool anniversary event. It's their fifth anniversary, but it's like a beer festival that's a daily thing for a week. Um, so the long and the short are, I'm gonna jump into it. Uh, the first day I had, uh, uh, you know, the the big 20.59% barrel-aged beer. It's big, 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 big. And um, it's just, it's like a, it's a boozy, like dark fruit, molasses, oak, vanilla, cause it's got like Tahitian and Madagascar vanilla in it. it it's, it's big and it's good. Um, and it's gonna age really well, it's gonna sell her well. But before I get into some other stuff, we're gonna get into some other stuff. I, I have JJ here, uh, and he uh, he actually works with, with Bottle Logic. And um, so, welcome JJ to the show. What's up, man, how you doing? So tell me what you do for a lot of Bottle Logic. Um, front of house, so all, pretty much events, beer dinners, and uh, beer tending. So pretty much everything, uh, for all the beers for Week of Logic. I need to get some advice of the beer dinners. <laughs> Um, gnarly, yeah. <laughs> so, tell me, like, like, you know, I'll talk to other people, and mm -hmm. later this week I'm gonna get um, like Brandon on the show, but I'm gonna try and get as many people that work here. Yeah. What's it from your perspective uh, doing this event, and how many years have you done it? So this would be my third year. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we. What I, what I, what gravitates, and I think why people like it so much, and why we like doing it, is it's more of a give back than it is like a. A money grab, you know what I mean? It's yeah. nice that we kind of want to do things cool for people, and that's what made me really want to start working here was because I thought it was such a cool thing. Um, it's a pain in the butt, it's a crazy event, but it's a labor of love. I love it. Yeah, you guys are open from 11 to 10? 11, 11 to 10, 10, yeah, 11 to 10 um, every day, yeah. yeah. It ends on Saturday, so Saturday. Saturday is going to be the last day. So it started on Sunday, we're on Tuesday, we're on the third day. Um, let me get to the whole book. So I've never done it before, I'm trying to get the stamp, but basically, what I agree with you, you give back. So there's this whole thing where you, um, where basically you guys have a passport or a journal, whatever you want to call it. You can create a character, that kind of thing. But you get, for every time you come and you get a, a beer, um, it's personal to you. You got to check ID and all that kind of stuff. But I get a stamp. And after three days, I get a pen. Yeah. And uh, after five days, I get a... Uh, uh, a it's a wooden, a, bottle, a wooden bottle, bottle opener. Yeah. And then uh, seven days, you get that big giant glass chalice. Um, yeah, beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. It's, it is awesome. And then uh, you also, if you complete all seven days, you become, essentially it's kind of like our pseudo member program allows you to uh, get beers before everybody else throughout the year. So it's a, it's a good deal. Yeah, and that's how people got the... Um, the uh, last year was Academy of Explorers. Yeah. Um, I forget what the name of this one this year, some other nerdy thing, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's yeah, some cool stuff. It's good. Well, I mean, but, but what I'm saying is if you get the code, you can get in and you can get like the theorem. Yeah, so like so people did that for the theorem. You yeah. don't have to worry about it and selling out. Like I couldn't get it because it was sold out. Yeah, I mean, even my girlfriend, she, uh, she it sold out like in seconds. But yeah, yeah. what's nice is that you know, a couple weeks prior, we will release the, the beer information and then you're allowed to, you know, not have to wait in that, that sale that's online and then you pretty much are allocated that beer no matter what. Yeah. Um, it's cool. It makes you not stress out and uh, yeah, it's a cool thing. And yeah, what's really crazy is that. You know, nobody knew that there was Fundamental Theorem coming out, so yeah. you got that beer pretty much locked, so it's nice. Oh man, I had it on draft. Uh, my friends had the bottles. I got to hold up a bottle. You guys saw it posted, but um, I think it, it's, crazy. It, it's a good beer, but it's big. I mean, a six, a six ounce pour ends up being a beer and a half. You know, uh, you what, I'm know what I've known that. What's crazy is I've been drinking that beer for two years in the process of trying it from the barrels. So it was kind of like a, it was like a full circle. It finally like came out when I first started working here. So it was really nice. It was like a full circle. It was, it was really yeah, because cool. that was actually fundamental observation, and then it yeah. was, it was, uh, it went through four barrels for two years. Yeah, so, so it just got a lot F more bourbon. And FO boozy. was already like pretty much nine to a year in that one. Yeah, and then yeah, consistently re-adding it to more barrels and stuff. More That's so awesome. Cool. So I, I think it's really cool that um, who I know it's a whole team thing. I, I know that. Uh, Brandon does the branding, mm -hmm. um, but the whole thing about you guys having this book and being able to do that, plus there's the buttons, you can trade buttons and then get another button, but it's getting people to talk to each other and hang out and it, it just, I see people waiting in line 
and they're all happy just to be yeah. talking and, and waiting in line. So I think that's really cool how you bring in. I think beer brings people together, but you guys are doing an extra step to bring people together. Yeah, you know, I think it's most of these people I know too over the years. Oh, so it's it is like it is kind of a family thing. It's a it's a good it's a good it's a good event. People are are really calm. You know, it's not like most beer events I've been to where people are falling over and trying to get wasted. This is more of like a yeah, it's more fun. I think yeah. it, everything about it. You know, last year we did, we do try to find really cool themes. We spent all year planning and trying to figure it out. I mean, this year's theme was Dungeons and Dragons, essentially. Last year was like Jurassic Park meets Indiana Jones. So, yeah. you know, every year we try to come up with something really cool. Lindsay Langton is, you know, she's a mastermind behind all this stuff. And That's she's awesome. Amazing, so. Good. Yeah, it's really I like cool. to give out the, the, you know, shout out to when there's good props to do. Yeah. So, yeah, like Brandon's great. You got also Josh Emmerich, who's an amazing artist who does uh, pretty much all our artwork. We've been working with him forever. And, yeah, it's really awesome, man. It's just, uh, yeah, everyone comes together. Everyone from tasting room employees, wives, everyone, dude. It's like a giant family event becomes like a, a normal thing every yeah, day. Yeah, because so. you guys got a lot of volunteers to help out, too. Yeah, this year's a little bit less, but, yeah, like, everybody, dude. Our, our wives, our cousins, our sisters, you know, everybody. It's like we, we all pull together to make this thing happen. It's really fun. That's awesome. And there's, uh, uh, I don't know what the other one is, Burning Buns and some other food truck down there. So you got food available. Yeah, yeah, we got three. I think right now it's three food trucks a day. Um, one of our guys, Chef Patrick Whitaker, he, um, he he chooses all the food trucks, and all the food trucks are top-notch. It's really cool. Um, yeah, today is like burning buns, uh, bar cuisine, and what was that other one? I don't, I don't know the other one. I don't but, know. Yeah, three, three, three different ones every single day. Yeah. And there's, I'm going to try and get to them down here a little bit, but there's a handcrafted beer ice cream as well, guys. Oh, yeah, that's so nuts. We're going to get into that. Yeah, we, we have people that use our beers and uh, make, like, we have one person that makes chocolate truffles with their beer. We got the ice cream people over here, too, making FO ice cream, yeah. which is crazy, with salted caramel. It's nuts, yeah. Th those, that's uh, those truffles, man, uh, it was Iris, Iris, uh, Iris Delights. I Delights, so, and yeah. she made, they're, they, they're a work of art, dude. Oh, they're gorgeous. They look like paintballs. I know. They, I mean, or like marbles or something. You yeah, know they, yeah, they look. Yeah, and they, they taste. Awesome. I didn't taste the whole thing. I had the ganache part, but it's a ganache <laughs> yeah. inside. But it's amazing. So, what are you drinking right now? Um, I'm drinking Space Trace 2018. Oh, I love that beer. I had it last. Yeah, I had it awesome. yesterday. I had it yesterday. I'm excited about Dark Star though. It should come out tomorrow for Dark Star. Oh, it's my favorite here. beer. That we make it's awesome. Oh, I'm drinking. Um, I forgot what it is. It's the uh, the no. Berliner Weiss. Ooh, hostile intent maybe? No. Kiwi? Starfruit? No, no, oh, no, no. beneficial additation. Yes, beneficial additation. Um, yeah. Super I good. love this. It's it's like tart, it's sour. It's kind of like sweetness on the end too, as a melon. And too. I got like oh, yeah, fruit on um, Well, I'll okay. tell you after I'm on, I'm on air. Oh, sorry. So, sorry. Uh, uh, if people come up and want to know what I have for my equipment I'm recording. <laughs> it is pretty cool. <laughs> it is cool. So, um, anyways. Uh, there's really good stuff. Did you get the fundamentals term? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, um, they're, 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 we're lucky enough that uh, staff members get a bottle. Okay. So, so you tried it. What do you think? Oh, I love it. Um, I think you know there's always a negative connotation to sometimes boozy beers because they're like they seem hot. Yeah. But because this has been in barrels for so long, you get all the characteristics that you want in a for yeah. you know, a long in a quad. Um, but for 21 percent, it doesn't drink like. 21. Yeah, it's almost 21%. It's not jet fuel, But it's know? very, bi it's, I, here's what I, my perspective, it was very boozy, but it wasn't fusel. So exactly. it wasn't yeah, hot, yeah. right? Yeah. It was warming, I got all the, the like like I said, dark fruits, a little bit of molasses, some vanilla, some oak, but uh, uh, it was big uh, big on the bourbon. Yeah, it was I, big on the bourbon. oh, the bourbon, I, I mean, gosh, I love, I mean, I guess they're vanilla beans too, I mean, that's just a yeah, a, a, and the Tahitian. So you know, yeah, Tahitian. that's nuts. It was a nice combination. Yeah. What are some of the other ones that you've had that you like uh, so far? So far, let me think. Um, classic IPA that we do is Melon Baller. It's super good. I'll have you to try that You can get that at the Glade. I, I, I can crush that beer all day. That's okay. like my favorite. Um, you can go get, there's a the breakfast out over here at the uh, Forge. Um, it is awesome too. You can nice. talk about great maple sweet flavors on that guy. It's super easy drinking. Um, over here, I think we still are pouring, um, we're pouring Space Trace, which I mean, you gotta get Space Trace every I, time. I think that's yeah. just number one. I thought it was great. There's, there's so many good beers. I, I will say the other two that I liked was uh, uh, the Helm Hor, uh, Horchata. Oh that was yeah. Really good. Unfortunately, that guy I think is gone now. Yeah, it's gone. gone. I know. I'm talking about some things that are gone, but there's still there's there's but new beers can, every day. But you could right? get all the um, all the Berliner Weisses that we made for Camping Creatures that came out today. Oh. So all the ones that like even for we're talking a couple years back, so like can, Hostile Intent, 
um, upside down, all those really cool ones, they're all they're all here right now. So a lot of cool stuff too. Oh, That's so I, you can get camping creatures. Is that only today or until they're out? I think they're they should be there till they're out. I'm okay. Yeah. Man, yeah. I gotta try. I gotta it's get up lot. on them. I only had two of the camping creatures. Your tums. Creatures. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. No, I like that. It doesn't bother me. But anyways, we got we got today and tomorrow. Um, so we should go find you. Should we talk with some of your buddies? Get some people over. We, we want to get some people on air and, and find out what their thoughts are. Maybe we should go try the ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's get those guys on the air because I was talking to them. How you doing, my friend? It's always good to see you. You want to be on air? Let's let, walk with me. And we'll talk. Um, so, okay. I'm basically as if you guys didn't know, I'm actually live here. Uh, at the uh, event for Week of Logic, and so uh, you're getting all the benefits. But um, I met these guys last night, and I'm just gonna I'm jump. I'm just gonna jump in their booth with them, and have them talk a little bit. Um, but uh, tell me, your, tell me your name, brother. I'm Brian. Brian. My partner is Sam. Sam. How's it going? So Howdy. tell me. Um, I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm putting this on uh, it's live today on air. So um, I want you guys to just talk about. Uh, how you got started in doing uh, beer infused ice cream? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, my partner Sam and I, we've been making ice cream for a long time. Um, my partner Sam actually used to be a brewer in the brewing industry. Uh -huh. So that's kind of where the uh, beer ice creams kind of came from. One day while we were making ice cream, he came home, had some uh, beer in his hand. He's like, let's add this to the ice cream. Let's, let's do it. And that's uh, kind of how it got started. We had it. We we're like, man, we're on to something here. It's that's awesome. Great. So uh, I, I think I neglected to tell the people what your company name is. Tell them your name. We are Scoops on Tap. Scoops on Tap, um, which I, I like that. I mean, it kind of gets to what you do, right? It really gets to what you do. Exactly. So yeah. what, what are you guys, uh, what are you featuring today? Uh, so we have a couple different ice creams that have all been infused with beers from Bottle Logic. Sure. Uh, we try and find beers that would really complement the flavors of the ice cream. So um, the one that has been extraordinarily popular is our salted caramel fundamental observation. Oh man. So it's done with Argentinian dulce de leche, sea salt, locally sourced cream and milk, and then it's got fundamental observation in there. So you're gonna get that kick of caramel and then that beautiful vanilla character from the fundamental. Yeah. It's an amazing ice cream. Um, and then we've got our From the Deep, which is actually vegan. It's coconut base. It's got Valencia oranges, pineapple swirl, paired with the Berliner Weiss from the deep. Amazing. Um, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the other one we have today is maple manicor. It's nah. a cinnamon coffee ice yeah. cream with a bourbon maple caramel. Swirl. Awesome. It's ridiculous. So can we try some? Of course. We'll try some on here. We'll tell. We'll tell people all about it. Um, so you guys have it where you, they can either get a cup or a cone. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. And you're here all you're here for the rest of the week every day, right? We're here all week, and we're gonna have new releases throughout the week. So tomorrow's Dark Star November. Nice. Friday is Paisley Cave Complex. Okay. And Saturday is Jam the Radar. Yeah. Okay. Right, so this we're starting out with from the deep. This uh, in the beer they color it with spirulina and turmeric. So we did the same thing. Yes. Yeah, so gotta get, get that, that nice coconut, a little bit of the orange. Yeah. I get the coconut, I get this tartness in there, mm -hmm. um, and still citrus. It's really refreshing. Thank you. You know? Yeah, nice and tropical. Yeah. For we sure. try and kind of deconstruct the beers into ice cream form. How, is that a sorbet or is it? Uh, that is still an ice cream, but it's vegan, so it's coconut based as opposed to dairy. Ah, no wonder, because I'm like, yeah. it, it's, it, it's almost like a sorbet, but a little it's bit lighter. Creamy. A little bit yes. lighter, but still very Wow, creamy, that's right? really cool, yeah. So right, here's the uh, maple manticore ice cream. The maple manticore. So this was the selection of the beer, uh, or the special beer that was released yesterday. Yes. Correct. So it's a coffee and cinnamon base done with Colombian roasted coffee. Wow. And then it's got a swirl of maple bourbon caramel sauce and the dark chocolate chunks. So it's kind of like French toast and ice cream form. I mean, I get that cinnamon. It's right there, the nice kind of caramely and the, and the, and the chocolate chunk, of yeah, course, yeah, just brings it together, right? Us, it literally tastes like the beer in ice cream form, essentially, that one. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. I tried it yesterday. Um, I might think that's even maybe better than the beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know, but it's really, really good. Thank you. Glad you like it. Okay. All right. Here's the uh, fundamental is, observation. This is the one that's been selling like crazy this week. Okay. Uh, done with fundamental observation. Obviously, one of Bottle Logic's most popular beers. So we really wanted to get that fundamental to come across in the ice cream. So you get that vanilla, the caramel, the sea salt. I get the sea salt and the caramel and the vanilla notes. I mean, they're, it's a nice balance. The caramel, of course, is up front, then you get that kind of saltiness. Absolutely. Um, wow, those are amazing. Thank you so much. And I haven't been able to try this before. We just talked yesterday, um, so I'm glad it's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, very sad conversation, otherwise. No, no, they're they're really fantastic. Um, good to see you, brother. Okay, thank you, JJ. Good to so see you. Guys. I'll, I'll talk to you in a little bit. So see you later. We, we, we're live, obviously, and so uh, people coming and going everywhere. Uh, JJ is going to join his girlfriend. But um, let me ask you, what is your what's your whole perspective? Uh, uh, on Week of Logic. You know, it is an amazing celebration. It's something really cool that Bottle Logic has put together that not any other brewery that I've seen is doing. Yeah. They can really celebrate the beers of the past and their beers of the future. Yeah. Um, and it's really cool for us to be out here because making ice creams with these beers gives that extra dimension to customers that are coming out. They get to try the beer and then they get to enjoy the beer in yeah. ice cream form. It's really cool. It is cool, man. Well, I, man, I can't wait to hear more stuff and try some other, you know, ice creams this week. Yeah. And, uh, and I can't, and I'm going to have the full show with these guys, but I just kind of wanted to highlight them today, get them on the show since you're here a week of logic. But thank you guys, man. Well, it's our pleasure. Thank yeah. you for coming out and, uh, you know, come try some more ice cream. For sure, for sure. And 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 what you guys don't know is, so there's people coming here. Dogs are really welcomed here. Um, but here's a here's an animal I haven't seen before. There's a uh, there's a is, is it a beer chameleon? It's just a chameleon. It's beer million. It's a it's a beer million. It's a beer million. I love that. Beer million. Yes. But it, but it, but because he's a chameleon, not worth a million dollars. But it could be. Who knows? He's got really cool coloring. Um, does he like beer? Uh, yes. Frog, yes. <laughs> the, the lizard sits there and just licks up the beer. That's awesome. Um, thanks, brother. So I'm gonna just kind of walk around and get some other people here. Uh, let me ask you a perspective. What's your, what's your name, brother? Sean. Sean. So you're on live on the the beer ambassador show. Oh, nice. Um, so, Cheers. So uh, obviously you're here because you like beer. Yep. And. Uh, You've been supporting Week of Logic. Have you, have you come every year? Or is, uh, actually, or is your first it's my time? first year. First year? Yep. So what's your thoughts on it? So far, so good. I like it. It's it's great. Good group of people. Um, great beers. Yes. What are you drinking? I am drinking the something or other flambe. It's a Bananas Foster oh, themed kind nice. of thing. Oh, nice. I didn't try that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, enjoy your time with your beer and your chameleon, my friend. Thank you. I'm gonna walk on. So, guys, I mean, it's 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 the good thing is if you come here in the weekday, um, and you come early from anywhere from 11 to I'm gonna say about four four thirty, um, it's pretty pretty uh, uh, sparse in the fact that it's not super crowded, hey, dude, how's and you it can going? get hey, there's Sherry. So there's another hey. one. So I'm doing live show. You're on the show live. Oh. So. <laughs> How many, Sherry? How many? How many? Uh, how many weeks of logic have you been to? All five. All five. So, yeah. what's your perspective um, as as a? So I'm like a, a a newbie trying to get all all seven days, right? And, and I came to the first one, but then I had to work the other. So I'm just going to call myself a newbie okay. um, or a neophyte because I'm still learning about the whole thing. But it took me a couple days. Now I got it under my belt. How do you feel? Uh, about the growth and the changes that they've done in the five years of doing the week of logic? Well, I think that by expanding in the backyard area or the back area is really good. They've got security, they've got food trucks, they've, they've and they've got a lot of umbrellas and different things, or like uh, easy ups. I feel like that's a lot better because before, like year one, it was literally in the warehouse area. Yeah. And in the little back area. Yeah. The same with year two. I remember, year yeah. Year three, they did a little bit more, but now that they've expanded, like, Secretly, I mean, they're doing a, a barrel facility right here next yep. door to us. Yep. Then on the other side, they've got a sour facility, and then they're going to be doing a distillery too. It's, yeah. You can look at City of Anaheim plants, but um, so they they're getting, they have all these buildings so they can do the whole back area. Yep. It's really good that they're expanding and doing that, but it would be so nice to have some of these 
inside the areas as well too sure. like in you know not just be all outdoors well, but, I, mean, I think know. it's cool we have good weather and yeah you know well last year it rained one of the days but uh, it's not it rained a big one of the days but this this year no rain and they put up plenty of tents and you can get out of the sun yep, if you want same as last year you but know? i i like the expansion and the things that they're doing um it's just you know i can't wait till the distillery opens up when they're going to have food they're also going to have food it's just exciting to just yeah. watch them grow from you know just you know i'm with you so what are, what are you like drinking today um i'm actually drinking like a spicy uh, IPA. I forgot the name of it oh. because every different beer has a different name. I but know. We're over there in the corner. Okay. So come over I'll here. come over and talk Ethan to some of you guys. From Pennsylvania. Is there. Oh, Ethan's there? Yeah, yeah Ethan's let's go there. Over. And let's... he's leaving tomorrow. I'll, I'll come over in just a minute okay. and uh, and talk with them. All right, bye. Um, but guys, it's really cool that all these people, so I, I've already made, for, what I, I always say that beer brings people together. I made a friend from Pennsylvania yesterday. So, um, We'll probably get to get to like maybe trade some beer stuff like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in and talk to some people I've never met before. And uh, my name is Mikael. I'm the beer ambassador. Hi, I'm Destiny. So Destiny and and Sarah. So you guys uh you guys do beer infused cupcakes? Yeah. Okay, and it's called sprinkles. Yeah. So, so right now we have the fundamental observation. Awesome. Infused. So I'm on the we're on the on air live. So oh, very um. Cool. So I know I surprised you guys, but maybe we'll talk about that. But I've been meaning to get over and talk with you guys the last couple of days. So uh, tell me about uh, the cupcakes and how you guys got started. Yeah, so um, we're based out of Newport Beach, but there's locations all over California, okay. Arizona, New York, Chicago, Texas. So we're everywhere. Awesome. Yeah, but we only do the beer ones here at the event. Oh, okay. So if yeah. I go to the store, there's no beer cupcakes no, it's no. only at the event yeah, so, all, so only this week all seven days you can get it here yeah. and you guys are doing uh, fundamental observation today is that the only one or is it different um, no. every day so we'll have the blueberry stout on friday it's gonna be the paisley okay it's gonna be like a s'more cupcake sure um so yeah i mean our menu's right here we're gonna have a different variety and then okay. we're doing them to pair with all of the the cupcakes too to pair with the beers that they're offering awesome so, yeah that's great so thanks for talking to me about cupcakes. You guys do uh, cupcakes for dogs too. We do. Yeah. That's interesting. Bring all your fur friends. Yeah. Very fur friendly. There's a whole thing about uh, week of logic dogs here in the hashtag. So thank you, ladies. I'll come back. Right, have a good day. So um, you know you can see that they have certain areas. Uh, there's the forge uh, that has barrel aged beers, um, and they have, they add some new beers every day. Uh, today is the uh, highest bows of. I'm gonna, this one's going to be hard. Yggdrasil? It's an English-style barley wine aged in Cavalier brandy barrels. And it's an exclusive here to Week of Logic. I think I'm going to have to come try that one. Um, and the other one that she was talking about, she forgot the name, uh, or one of the people, it might have been Sherry or someone else, said the Flame Skull Flambe is a bourbon barrel aged. That was the guy, I'm sorry, with the, with the, uh, the, the lizard. But it's a bourbon barrel aged bananas foster inspired imperial amber finished with bananas burnt sugar and tahitian vanilla i might have to try that one too i mean uh you know if you're talking about a bananas foster and a beer that sounds pretty amazing so let's go over and see if we can talk to ethan some other people here and uh we'll get uh we'll get some opinions here oh i, I probably i lost him where's ethan Where's Ethan? Ethan was just here. Oh man, he, he left. Okay. Well, you're live on air. Oh hi. Say hi. Nice to meet Tell you. Tell people who you are. I'm Tiffany Aguilera. Nice and to meet you. Tiffany, is this your first year, or how many years? You've this been coming? is my maybe third year. Third year. Being here at Week of Logic. So you come, you're faithful now, you love it. Yes. Uh, you like the growth and. And the way they're expanding it and all that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, heck yeah. Because they're going to have a restaurant soon. Yeah. I'm like, super excited about that. Yeah, because restaurant, distillery, or? Beer pairing with food is probably yeah. like the ultimate thing the ultimate. besides just having beer. For sure. Yes. What are you drinking today? I had um, an upside down from their vault. Nice. Before that, I had a. Um, <laughs> Flame skull, flame. Oh, I just talked about that one. It was good. Bana bananas Foster, you like that one? It was good. I didn't taste the bananas, but it was good. Okay. Uh, well, Ethan. I like people not being honest about that. <laughs> Ethan had a, a 
what is it? A peach cobbler one. I forgot what it was oh. called. That one was delicious. I have to go find it. That one was absolutely delicious. Okay, I might be on a beer hunt. All right, it was from there. I'm, I might have the to purge. get uh, double fisted here really soon. Do it. Um, have you been? Have you been on the the uh, coming here in the week of logic for many yes. years too? All right, what's your name? Nancy. Nancy. So tell me uh, your thoughts on this whole thing, Nancy. I love it. This yeah. is like maybe the third, fourth year. Third or fourth here. year? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Um, today I'm trying the IPA because it's a shorter line. Yeah, but yeah. I've been past trying the stouts, but so far I tried all their IPAs. And um, I think my I tried this one was the spicy one. I can't remember the name of it. The, uh, is that the Andrew? Is, so is it the Andrew? No. Oh, it's another one. I think it's called Flame, oh, oh, Flame, Flame of Tarbon. Yes. Yeah. Flame of Tarbon. Yeah. You want to try it? Sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, try it. It's wow, really you're so it's nice to let me try it. If you're into the spiciness. Got a nice, yeah. Yeah. Got a nice yeah. nose on it. Yeah. So this is what I like when we start all geeking out and talking about, oh, yeah. man, that has got some real right? spice right on it. Right on the back. Right? Is it, so it's got, it's got, actually got uh, peppers in it. Yeah. This is the habanero? It does have peppers. No, I forget the name of the, it's not habanero, it's another type of pepper. The animal. Wow, it's good. I'm gonna have to go find out why that is. No, I forgot the I think that the good thing is that my sour will cut that heat. Yeah. <laughs> but that's man, that is nice and warming. Uh, you still get like the the like the kind of a uh, slight citrus and piney notes in there, but then that 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 is that's warming like more than the bruising. I took a sip of hers. I liked it so much. I went yeah. and got my own. You yeah. went and got your own. Wow. All right, I gotta walk and find out who we can talk to here. Uh, while we're live here, we got another, uh, I don't know, we got like another 15 minutes here. So I'll, I'll see you ladies later. All right, so um, yeah, it's cool to just be here and talk. I had some buddies that were actually wanted to be on the show and they were going to talk to me, but you know, uh, people are in and out of this event just back and forth all the time. But now I see someone I want to talk to. So I see uh, my buddy who uh, works here and he's, he's Bob Vreeland. And uh, uh, he talks about stuff, anyways. Bob, you're on uh, you're on air live. You're on air. How's it going? So uh, tell people what you do for Bottle Logic. I am the uh, fleet commander. It is my job to take care of the self distribution fleets. Yeah. And uh, all the trucks. Sweet. Yes. Tell us. Uh, I know you got like there was a whole thing. That you got a truck and then made it like new again oh we got a truck from another brewery uh, uh former employer and um yeah told him i was gonna leave if i didn't get my truck they bought me a truck <laughs> you got the truck <laughs> got a truck and you guys are serving up that truck yes, now here got, in the uh, glade 16 taps uh all it's the a beautiful vehicles, trucks yes all the vehicles today are uh, acting as bars so uh we have the one truck that's got eight taps one truck's got 14 and the third truck's got 16. wow so um Listen, you've been here for a long time. How many years you've been with Almost the, three. Three years. Almost three. So this is your third week of Logic? Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about the differences and the changes that you've seen in those three years. Because this is the fifth anniversary. Yes. But you, I know you've seen a lot of difference in three years. Yes. It's, you know? uh, it's grown. Hey, there's... All right, JJ, come I get, in. I just got to get Bob. JJ came in and, and JJ came in and gave a little love to Bob. Bob, move up here so we're not in the sun so much. Then your eyes aren't in the sun. Oh, there we go. I gotta get hey, you in there back. close so we can uh, get you. You know, we gotta pick you up on the mic, my friend. No, come We're on. doing the live show. <laughs> so, so uh, just tell us about the difference there. That you oh, it's, I've seen it grow to uh, what it is now. I mean, we uh, we acquired um, all these buildings behind me. Um, it started out as just uh, in the tap room five years ago, um, and then it's grown into what you see today. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's fun. It works. It's fun. He's being modest. I mean, you were talking to me a lot <laughs> yesterday, my friend. So, what? Um, I know that you like all the beers, but what, what are some of your favorites that have been out this week that you've been able to try? Oh, there's a, a Lafroig uh, Scotch beer. Over oh yeah, there that we've uh, aged in uh, uh, Scotch whiskey barrels, and it is fantastic. So w let's talk about that because I actually had it, and I found I really liked it. But it's it, it's one of those beers that's polarizing. Either you like it or you do not like it. Yes. Because it's very peaty, very smoky, yes. and to me, it's like campfire smoky. Uh, and the peat is, I mean, I, I've had scotches that aren't as peaty, yeah. right? Oh, no, it's, it's uh, you get a lot of characteristic from the barrel, um, and it's love or hate. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who love that smoky campfire beer, but then there's also a lot of people who won't drink it because it does taste like this, you know, burnt, 
uh, uh, oak in your mouth. And, uh, yeah. I love it. I drink uh, Lagavulin like water. Yeah. So it's right like, if, I mean, if you like a good scotch, yeah. then that's like, I, I'm just saying, I've had other beers that try and emulate scotch or whatever, but they haven't come through. That one that comes through for me. Oh, yeah. And um, it's the barrel. It's it's all in the barrel. We yeah. got the real barrels. Um, That's the Lafroy barrels. The Lafroy barrels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. from uh, the Isle of Islay. Yes. Yeah, there are Islay barrels. Yes. Um, so, what I liked about it, that is it yeah, is it, it definitely warms up. How's it going, my friend? Tasty. The blueberry's good. So we got another recommendation on the blueberry. Yes. So um, stealth mode. Or stealth upside mode. down. Yeah, they're both good. Stealth I don't know. Upside down. But um, probably stealth mode. Let's just let's just talk about the, but that's that, that that beer we're talking about is called Siege Weapon. But yeah. there's something else before that. I just remember Siege Weapon. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's the Scotch. It's the Scotch <laughs> one, but it's it's good. I mean, it's really good. Do you know what it was kind of like to me? It's like it's like a Roush beer that's barrel aged. Yeah, you can you get know? away with that. I'll I mean, that. I'm glad to allow that because it's I mean because it's so smoky. It's a, it's technically a Roush beer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's got all the peat and stuff. Um, so I thought it was amazing. Um, I heard that you guys have the Campy Creatures out today, yeah, too. Yeah, uh, we actually we have uh, our graphic designer, uh, Josh Emrich. Uh, he does all of our stuff. He's, he's put on all the uh, bottle art. He's put on all the, the shirts, the merchandise. Uh, he's our graphic designer. And um, uh, he launched a, uh, a board game called Campy Creatures. And we've done a collaboration with him. Um, the different creatures in the game all get their own special beer that's designed around their character. Yeah. So from the deep is this big green monster looking beer. I gotta try that because I never got to try it. Yeah. It looks over. like algae. Yeah. It looks. It's, and it's all natural. Uh, there's no extracts in it. We get the color from the uh, fruit that we put in the beer. Man, I would as much as I love this beer, the beneficial adaption. If I'd known about the camp of creatures, I wouldn't have got this because I had it yesterday. Oh, there you go. But I, yeah, every day, something new. Every I was, day. I was trying to grab a beer really quick to do the show. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you got to try more afterwards. Yes, sir. Um, so, is uh, anything you guys are that you're looking forward to? Because I hear I hear that uh, you know you guys are working on a restaurant and distillery. It could be. Yeah, yeah. we uh, we have some plans uh, in the works. Uh, first and foremost, we want to. Uh, expand production to try to keep up with the overwhelming demand. Yeah. Um, secondly, we want to expand the tasting room. Uh, it might involve a restaurant concept. It might not. Okay. Uh, we're still trying to get our ducks in a row. Sure. Still trying to get everything figured out. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, it, it's uh, hopefully in the works. We've been uh, trying for a long time. So awesome. Yes, sir. Well, I guess Bob's being a little camera shy, so I'll let you go, my friend. <laughs> I'll give you a Take little hug easy, there. Man. I just want to say, I, I always appreciate hanging out with you. This guy, if you don't know, um, he, he, he dresses as Santa at the Brew Ho Ho every year, and we're always having a good time. Um, but I see him at a lot of events, but I, you're always having a good time at that one. Always. Sure. So, um, hey, what is going on? How are you? I see friends all the time, so you're What's live. You're live on air, my friend. How are you doing? So, uh, tell people who you are. My name's Troy. And tell them uh, what you're drinking. Uh, right now, I am drinking the... Oh shit, it's on the Oh, it's all right. Well, we'll find out what the beer is. We'll f and, it, and then he goes, and then he's gone. <laughs> then Troy's gone. Out. It's good seeing you, buddy. See, so this is the thing, it draws it draws people together and you get, uh, you know, to hang out with people and have beers. So, um, I'm gonna just kind of walk over towards the campy creatures since we uh, are, you know, we've got about six, seven minutes left on, uh, on the show here that we can talk about some beer and see what else I can find um, I had a couple of buddies that were gonna be on show I think I mentioned that but they had to go early unfortunately and uh, I have to I'm just gonna introduce myself to some strangers here and say my name is Mikhail Woodward and the, the beer ambassador you're live on on the, the beer ambassador show I had to stop I had to stop you because I have the same shirt my friend <laughs> it's an excellent target shirt yeah it's a great shirt and um, if, since you guys uh, on the radio you can't hear this but um, it's basically starry night style uh, Van Gogh, um, it, but it's it's Star Wars, it's Stormtrooper and stuff. So um, tell me uh, your guys' names and what you're drinking. Tom and Melissa, we're drinking Bottle Logic. Bottle Logic. Oh, so they're drinking a barrel aged beer. <laughs> and they're like, I'm not sure which one it is. Um, uh, this uh, we got a maple, maple breakfast down. Okay, yeah. right the maple here. breakfast. You like and that one? It's very good. Which one is the one? That one's a 
like a peach cobbler. Yeah. Peach cobbler, I heard about that. Yeah, so you like that one? really good. Yeah. Cool. You get Very the peaches good. and... Yeah, you smell it all too. A lot too. of cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon, peaches. Cinnamon. All right, I'm going to have to try that one too. Delicious. Uh, awesome. What well, do you cheers. I, I have uh, actually um, the Berliner Weiss over here. Ooh. With the tropical fruit, it's got guava, beneficial mango, ad adaptation. beneficial ad That's my adaptation. Yeah. It's a big mouthful because it's like beneficial <laughs> adaptation. So yeah, all seven? the names are yeah. Like 18 syllables. I'm telling you, once you start drinking, it's hard to say all these. But like it's that one over there, right? So uh, let me just ask you guys: um, Do you is this your first time, or how many times have you been to Week of Logic? This is our second year. Second, second year. year. Yeah. So last year, uh, do you like the difference in the themes? I do. Yeah. yeah. I love I'm just it. waiting to see what themes they come up with next. They're yeah. gonna have to do a new one every year. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be it's interesting. It's fun. Yeah. Did you guys actually use the front of, of the book and create your own character? Because it's kind of like based no, on Doug. No, no. Yeah, not yet. I haven't done it yet, but I gotta do it. Maybe I inspired you because I don't know if you knew that part. You do the shirts <laughs> I did too. See that. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Thanks, man. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, it's good to meet friends and and uh, and drink beer with new people. So I have people toasting me now, so I'm just going to talk with them. So my name is Beer Ambassador. You're on live right now on my show. Um, so do you want to say your name and what you're drinking? I am Jonathan, and I am drinking the Upside Down. How do you like it? It's really good. It's a really solid beer, nice uh, blackberry flavor, a little little vanilla, not as much as I would like. Yeah. A little crispy tarty on it. Cool. But overall, very solid, easy drinking. Nice. Warm day beer. Hollingshead fan too, huh? Hollingshead good fan as well. Good place. If you haven't had, I mean, go get a sandwich and a beer. Yeah, that's a good place. That's bread in town. And Mike and the family there, they're good. Yeah. So, uh, what's your name and what are you drinking? I'm Lisa, and I'm drinking the Hostel Intent. Okay. It's the kiwi star fruit. It's Sweet. It's pretty sour. Yeah, nice. But it, it's like he said, it's a really good hot day beer. Okay. Um, one of my favorites that they make here. Uh, part of the Campy Creatures series, yeah. the artwork. I don't know if you've seen the oh, artwork I'm, for all these. I have a couple of cans. Freaking awesome. Yeah. It's been, this is my favorite artwork too. The Hostel and Tennis, the Alien. Yeah. Just so good. Um, Very nice. I think it's Emmerich Office is the design, the guy who does it. That's yeah, they, his they said Twitter. his name, but I can't remember. Yeah. I can't remember, but they, but it was he was mentioned today. But that's really cool that you're a fan. I think that's his Twitter though. Yeah. Emmerich Office. I follow him because I think his art is bitching. Awesome. It is. And you, my friend? My name's Daniel. I'm drinking Daniel? the Upside Down also. Oh, okay. I'm new to this. You're new to this. It's so first... it's, oh, so it's you have, good. you're not into sours. You're kind of developing your palate. I'm, yeah, I'm still working I like on that. it. I'm still working on I like it. that. But it's a, it's a beautiful color. It's like, you know, purple. Yeah. And uh, it's just lovely. It's got all, like the, the foam, the head on there is almost like a lavender. And then you got this, this like almost a darker, like, uh, I guess you would say like a mahogany cabin or or something. I don't know, but it's a purple. But cool. Well, good, enjoy your uh, your week of logic, my friend. You too. Good meeting you guys. Cheers. So, um, guys, I, I don't know who else I'm gonna meet here, but we I pretty much have to start wrapping it up. Um, but you have, you know, four more days unless you come out today. They're up until 10 o'clock. Uh, you can come out. I will. I will say this. The the one thing that you have to work on is uh, parking. Parking can get a little crazy here, and um, but if you go kitty corner from here, it's about four blocks away. Then you then you come up on uh, you'll come up on uh, Brewery X and you can park there. So I, I have a friend here who's a beer judge. How you doing, buddy? K Paso. So tell people you're live on the show. So tell tell them your name and. Uh, my name's Hal. I'm looking for uh, a guy named Mike. You are. And suggestions for good beer. Okay, so I'm gonna give you suggestions in just a moment, but. So you haven't had anything yet today? I had the Kolsch. The Kolsch. The Kolsch is pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, uh, now we're gonna step now you're on gonna up. Step to, on uh, up. Some, uh, so you're, is this your first day? First day. First day. And so, my first day.